Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. Um, okay, so first of all, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the last vlog before baby comes. I think I'm just gonna make it so that this is the last vlog, the last time that I'm picking up the camera before baby gets here, so that way we can just relax, even if it's like for a day or two. Still have a couple things to do, so that's what I'm trying to take care of today and then still like spend some time with the kids so i hope you guys are still doing great i hope whatever this maybe gives you some entertainment or i don't know it helps you like keep you company in the last bit of your pregnancy too one of the things that i'm trying to do today is tackle like the packing the kids their bag for when they go to mimi's house so that's like one of the last few tasks that remains like i'm packed i already told you guys that joe is packed so i need to get a couple things for the kids so that's what i'm trying to do now because they are playing nicely downstairs. So like for Jackson, I'm trying to make sure he has some pull-ups. And then I'm also gonna add in some of like his, his little cars, boxer briefs or underwears, whatever you call these. Cause when he's at Mimi's house, I want him to still like maintain his whole, like he's been so good at going and using the bathroom. I don't want to have like a regression if I can avoid it um, when they're over at my mom's. I did send to Mimi's house, what's it called? I sent her a little mini potty, just like we have the Paw Patrol potty over here at our house. I sent her one that's like all white <laughs> so that when the kids are over there, like I don't have to worry about Jackson not using the bathroom. So point is I'm just trying to be prepared and then if for some reason, you know, I don't know, labor starts in the middle of the night. The plan right now, at least, is that my mom would meet us at the hospital and then take the kids. So I just want them to have like two changes of clothes, like just something that they can change into while they're over there. So let's do that. I guess I can pack them also like an extra PJ. Okay, so now they are good to go. And that is awesome because again, it's just like one less thing that I have to worry about. I also had to um, like I packed them each like an outfit, like a cuter outfit. Like I got them obviously like some clothes that they can just like play in at Mimi's house, but then like a cuter outfit for when they are taken to the hospital to go meet baby brother or baby sister because my mom will be the one like taking them. Um, from her house to meet the babies. I'm probably gonna obviously like film that. I want to take pictures of them So just like something for them to be in. So yeah, lots of fun stuff happening here last night again I had really bad back pain like lower back pain thought I was gonna go into labor clearly did not So I went and I took like a super warm hot shower and then I just like let the hot water go down my back and it helped tremendously so I was able to sleep through the night, happy about that, got some good rest. So now another thing left on my to-do list to tackle is to like pack my toiletries. I've had my toiletry bag here on my counter for the longest time and I haven't actually packed it. So I'm gonna try to take care of that. And since we're doing that, and before we continue with the rest of the vlog, I do wanna thank Native for sponsoring today's video. I've used Native now for years, you guys. I've used them probably for like two, three years and like whether or not they're sponsoring my videos, this is the only deodorant that I have used like in the last last again like two or three years since i started working with them native i'm sure you guys have seen them and i'm sure you guys know that they have aluminum free paraben free deodorant so that's one of my favorite things that they have but they also have like other stuff like i'm going to be taking to the hospital this lotion so they have like lotions they have body washes this is another body wash like joe and i we love the native body washes anytime that we're out we go and we pick up some more of this they're just made with more simple ingredients and we just really like them as a whole like the products also like the company is like vegan it's cruelty free so i've always been a fan like ever since i switched to them just the like i said the ingredients that are in here and then not only the ingredients but they're actually like effective like it actually works so the deodorants they offer like 72 hour odor protection so this is what i'm taking with me to the hospital i will be getting very sweaty i'm sure here when i'm giving birth but this will help me feel nice and fresh afterwards so i have a bunch of different scents the one that i've actually been using lately um is this one called cactus flower and poppy i really like this scent it just smells like very florally um and just i, I really like this one but i I'm getting low so the one that i'm going to throw in there is lavender and rose this one just legit smells like lavender so if you like lavender you will like this one another one that i recommend is the eucalyptus and mint this one just smells like you're at the spa it smells like very eucalyptusy like if you were running eucalyptus like in the shower it smells really good and then this one is honey and white oak this one is a little bit more musky so this one is probably one that i would give to joe he usually uses the charcoal one um but i'm gonna leave this one over there for him because he will like that one so yeah well other 
products, they have a bunch of different scents that you can choose from. Um, I'm sure that there's something on their website that you guys can find if you wanted to check them out. They also every once in a while have like these limited edition um, collections or scents. So I think right now they have one that's like for fall that you might want to go check out. But especially when it comes to the deodorant, what I really like is that it doesn't feel sticky. I have tried and I've told you guys before, I've tried other aluminum free deodorants and they've just been like the texture is just like not it. It feels sticky. It just does not feel right on my armpits. So this one I've never had an issue with and I have really enjoyed it. Yeah, I figured I would share that. Um, I also have a code for you guys if you want to try them out. These deodorants, normally when you buy three of them, it's like $39. And so with my code, which I'll leave here on the screen, you get three for $27, which is about 33% off. So it's a great deal if you've been wanting to give them a shot or if you need like a restock and you'd like to <laughs> purchase some, um, I'll have the information down below in the description box with my code that you use to get the discount. So yeah, huge thank you to them for working with me. Like I said, I'm gonna put the deodorant in here. I'm gonna put my, um, the hand lotion. This I'm gonna keep like in my back stock and I guess I'll leave Joe's there on the counter. Like no joke, you guys, this is my back stock of native body wash that I have. I'm not even gonna show you the rest of this closet because it is so bad. Um, but this is one of my projects for after the baby comes. I have this linen closet like in my bathroom and it is full of stuff But yes, they have lots of different scents So every time that I'm out of this I come in here and I grab another one because these are fantastic so Yeah, I'm gonna get dressed because I want to spend today like with the kids like I want to like have them be outside I'm gonna probably fill up their little water table so that they can play put bubbles like make it something fun because we have been home, I have been just trying to relax a lot because despite like all of the different things that we have to do, yesterday was very much a tackling all of the things. You guys saw that vlog of like opening up the pack and play and fixing up the nursery. I'm constantly balancing like doing that, resting, but I feel bad because like the kids have been like just like watching a ton of TV. Not that they mind and I know that they're gonna be fine. Like Riley has been watching Shark Week, living her best life, but I want them even though I can't really take them anywhere, I would like to just like have them play. So let me get dressed, let me get them dressed. We'll go play with the water table. And then I do want to try to see if I can make maybe a meal, like a freezer meal. So I'll share that with you guys if I get around to it. But yeah, we'll see what else we can take care of today. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay, that honestly brings so much joy to my life today because they can have fun. I can sit under the shade, drink some water, like lots of water because it is so hot. Just like watch them and it's something that I plan, not that they just created a mess of. Like I planned this mess so I'm already prepared. Like I have their towels down here. So from here, I'll take them straight to the bath and they'll get changed. But since it's early enough, it's like 1030. It's not like beaming hot. So you can be out here at least for like an hour or so. They can get some fresh air and then we'll go inside and I'll take care of my stuff in a little bit. This will be their time and then later I'll do my stuff. <laughs> So it's like 12.20, we are back inside. I took the kids upstairs, got a bath, so they are nice and clean now. Now I'm gonna start making the kids their lunch. Why did this not heat? Like sometimes this microwave, you guys, it's one of those things where sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And it shouldn't be that way. But sometimes it doesn't heat up the food. What is that? Your leche? The kids also insisted on wearing long sleeves here in July in Miami. But that's what they requested. Jackson, let me see your shirt. Remember when Riley <laughs> designed this shirt? This was like um, one of Riley's drawings of the four of us. It's all full of Cheeto crumbs right now. And then I cricketed it and I put it on shirt. They both wanted to have like a matching moment. So that is what they are wearing. Of course, the kids are in there. I need to help with everything era, which is fine. But sometimes it's just more work than it needs to be. So they're gonna help me make their bre their lunch. Can I? Hold on, I, there's something wrong with the microwave. Okay, leave it there. There's something wrong with it. What are you doing? 
want this little one. I want this little one. The little one? Yeah. Okay, are you going to put them in the colander so you can wash them? Put them in the colander. Here you go. I don't have to pour my milk, guys, now. Oh, do you? Yes. Okay, great. All right, we've got chicken for the children. Jackson, you want honey or no honey? Oh, yeah, honey. Yes? My kids are so funny. Like, they do not really like ketchup, mm -hmm. but they do like honey on their chicken. Like, they dip the chicken nuggets in honey. That is how they like it. Give me the strawberries. That's a lot of strawberries. Okay. This is, like, yes. what Jackson does. Like, when he makes his own food, he, like, takes literally every berry we have in the house. I'm in jail. Who is in jail? Who's in jail? It is strawberries. The strawberries? Yeah. Okay, can you put them back in the fridge, please? Yeah. Riley has a step stool. Yeah, mine needs it. Okay. What are you people trying to do? <laughs> What's the matter? Good job. Meanwhile, she's getting her milk. It's like, it's like chaos. What? Cantaloupe. It's cantaloupe. You like cantaloupe? Yeah, I want that cantaloupe. Um, we're not gonna have that now because you're having all my strawberries. So this is their food. And they're having Cheetos, so they'll be fine. This one is yours, Mama. Okay. And then for Jackson, I have to like chop up his one chicken nugget. There you go, and you get some Cheetos. Okay, right, I need to eat some lunch too, but I'm not quite hungry yet. I'll make it in a second. I'm gonna sit here with the kids while they eat theirs. It remind me that I wanted to show you guys I need while. Towel. What do you mean you need a towel? Because my nose is bleeding. Your nose is not bleeding. All right. Anyway, it reminded me that while we're here, I wanted to show you what I finally decided I was gonna do for Jackson for homeschool for next year. I still plan on like probably after the baby comes, I'll sit down and do a like um, like what I'm using for Riley and everything that I'm using for Jackson in terms of homeschool. I did finally order his workbook. So what I landed on for Jackson, like for sure, for sure, this is what we're gonna start with next year, is I'm gonna use the Horizons for three with him. So I was kind of going back and forth about using the preschool Horizons because Horizons has a like preschool for three and then like a regular preschool. So I was kind of going back and forth on like which one I was gonna use. Plus I had told you guys that the good and the beautiful one, I didn't think he was like at that level yet. But what was nice is that because this is what I used for Riley, I only had to buy the student workbook. The curriculum itself has like a bunch of different parts. There's like a Bible reader and then there's a student workbook companion, which we probably won't even use. And then there's the teacher's guide. I just had to buy a new student workbook because obviously Riley had gone through this when she did it. So it's nice because I've shown you this before when I started this with Riley. I started this with Riley when she was also like three and a half. Um, she did her pre-k three like year with me so there's the teacher's guide that'll walk me through every single lesson and it'll tell me like here are the supplies here's the bible lesson here's a memory verse even though jackson is not gonna like really pay attention to a lot of this but we can work as much as we can um on like different things there's like songs that i can sing to him basically whatever his little attention span will allow me to um like do with him honestly so we'll work on colors which he knows his colors he knows his shapes like i said i really just want him to work on his abcs but this will be a good introduction for him like having a workbook that he can actually go through and you know use it to like this one says here match the animals that are the same have the student like draw it draw a line he can draw lines so matching stuff um, this one says like count each group of cats circle the picture of one cat so like simple things like that he can do throughout the year like it gets a little bit not even hard because this is a very very gentle curriculum but eventually it'll show them some letters which is good and then this says like say the names of the items that belong that begins with a so we can get into the letters as the year progresses and maybe do a little bit of um like having him like hold the pencil this says circle the smallest bat put an x over the largest bat that i know for sure he could do right now but this is going to be just like our main thing that we try to complete by the end of the year i just found that even like the preschool one for horizons like the one that's not for level three like not for three-year-olds even that one like it starts right away with the letters it starts right away with like having them like trace stuff and I just, I don't think that he's there yet. So we're gonna do things very gentle and we'll probably just kind of go with the flow. At least he has like something that we can try to stick to a couple times a week of like having him sit down one-on-one -on -one with me. It'll get him prepped for his more like pre-K four year. Like he'll kind of have an idea of what to expect. 
So that's kind of how I did it with Riley. Riley obviously picked up on things super quick and she really loved it. So we did probably more of that and she didn't need as much help in like some of these concepts but i think that'll be fun and then the other thing that i bought for both of the kids which jackson will get just as much like enjoyment out of as riley is i got the good and the beautiful they have like a new science curriculum so we have one that i've shared before but it's like about i don't know like bugs and like outdoorsy things bugs snakes reptiles things like that so they came out with a new curriculum that's like the big book of science stories. This one is called Wind and Waves. So it's more of like um, learning about like lightning and thunder and bodies of water, sharks, dolphin, funny fish, sand and seashells. So stuff that has more to do with like water and stuff, which Riley really likes. So we've already started working on this and she's really loved it, obviously. So it's like a quick little like booklet for the teachers and like questions to ask. And then sometimes they'll like watch a little video or sometimes you'll read them like a story from here. Like these are actual just like different stories on whatever topic it is like this one is on floods so it's a little story that you would read to them and then ask them questions about it so stuff like that is what we'll be doing this coming year just something to get them learning keep them engaged and working on like some kind of skills so that they're really not just like bored here at home it gives us something to do that's fun so i thought i would share that i know that not every one of you guys homeschools i know that not every one of you like even really cares too much about like the curriculums that we're doing and stuff but i know that some of you guys have like found my channel through that and i hope to still share a lot of our homeschooling journey because it's been super fun for me. It's one of my favorite things to talk about and to really do. You guys have seen in other vlogs, like Riley, um, you know, she's started reading and like she's reading little books already. And it's just really fun to watch her do that. And she just loves it. So I'll be sharing a little bit of that here and there, maybe inserting a little bit of that in my vlog, but also doing like some more dedicated homeschool videos once like, you know, I'm like back feeling like a normal person after the baby comes um did you finish eating your lunch i'm almost done okay i'm just trying to see if we have done all of these things of this book we haven't you see this is like the other science curriculum that they have which we haven't gone through completely so if there's ever a topic that she wants to learn about like this one is about plants and butterflies and ants see we did like some of them um this one is about lizards and dragonflies if there's ever a topic that she shows interest in, then I have stuff that I can pull from and then we can go, you know, just learning about it. So when we get back into gardening and stuff, I can open this up, we can do lesson eight, we can do the thing about seeds and talk about that. You like that one? Yeah, I like both of the books. They're so fun. Yeah? Hey Riley, I like your little slippers. Thanks, do they match black? Um, I think I think your outfit looks just super great. All right, can you go sit and finish your food, please? And ask Jackson to tell him about these snails that we found. Here. Why do we have snails in this house? These are the things like they go bug collecting with Joe outside, and then I'm, I wind up with like little seashells and random bugs. Ah, yeah. Or in the, a bin. They're in a bin. Yes. Can you go finish your food? Okay, everyone is done with their lunch. I did like a quick little cleanup here because I'm gonna start working in the kitchen to do a few things. Jackson is playing with his cars and Riley is watching more Shark Week, right? No, it's not Shark Week. Oh, it's not? It's another Shark What is it? Another shark video? Um, do you want- Sharkzilla. Sharkzilla? Do you wanna show everybody your drawing that you did? This, my friends, is um, you wanna explain this? This is me in um, a Megalodon Jaws. This is Riley inside of a Megalodon Jaws. Look at look at that beautiful face right there. <laughs> Why did you make that? Because I wanted to, this, I really like it. I love it. It's one of my favorite pictures you've ever drawn, okay? So we're gonna keep it forever. Anyway, while the kids are entertained, I'm gonna try to get a few things done here in the kitchen. For example, I have these rotting bananas that I don't wanna go to waste. So I told Joe that like I would try to make banana bread. And this is the kind of thing that like at this point I just need to make banana bread because every time that we have bananas that look like this, Joe will go to throw them away and I'm like, wait, 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 like don't waste them. Like I'm gonna make banana bread and then I never do. So today I'm gonna actually try to make banana bread. And then I also wanna make some meatloaf. I wanna make some frozen meatloaf to have ready for when the baby comes. So let me just see if I can get this done quickly. So what are you making? 
I'm making a banana bread. Banana bread is in the oven, so now I'm gonna start working on the um, the meatloaf. So I have two of these, like just like one of these like ground beef packets. I've got two of them, just that I thawed. So pretty much what I'm gonna do, I read that you can take. Sorry, I'm trying to open up my tripod. I read that you can basically just mix the meatloaf, like mix the beef with all the seasonings, with the onion, with the breadcrumbs, with the egg. Mix it like if you were going to bake it, only don't bake it. Like once you get it all mixed together, I'm gonna put it on like the little foil things and then cover it um, with saran wrap, cover it with foil, and then I can freeze them. And then what I can do is whenever we're ready to eat one of these, take it out of the freezer. I can either bake it directly from frozen or I can just like the night before, take it out, let it thaw out in the fridge, and then um, like when it's dinner time, just have Joe put it into the oven like if he was gonna bake it normal. And then we have, you know, potentially two easy dinners for us without spending money on DoorDash. All he has to do is like maybe whip up like a side of potatoes or maybe I'll get like some microwave potatoes or french fries or whatever he wants to eat with this, a Caesar salad, something easy, but the protein will be done. So let's do that. And by the way, I've never used this recipe that I'm using. I'll link it anyway, um, but I've never used this specific recipe. I'm sure it would work with every other like meatloaf recipe. So just make your meatloaf like if you were going to bake it, but just instead of baking it, freeze it. So here we go, we have two meatloafs, and then like I said, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna use some cling wrap first. I think I'm gonna do that first, and then put some aluminum foil. And then I'm gonna write instructions for Joe, like I'm gonna write, um, I think I have to go look up like how long you're gonna cook it for, because I'm probably gonna have him like thaw it out first. But I'll try to remember to include like the freezing instructions in the description box, because that's always like what I struggle with the most with freezer meals. It's like, what am I supposed to do once like I make it? Like how do I actually make it the day that I want to eat it? And I find that sometimes like people forget to add those instructions and like that's like, the most important thing. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I just used like the same instructions that the recipe said. So like the recipe said, you bake it at 350 for 45 to 55 minutes and you add some ketchup and you bake for 10 more minutes. So I just wrote Joe a note, like I wrote what it is. I wrote the date obviously and then um, to remove the foil and the cling wrap before baking because I don't want him to think that he could just like pop this all in here. I want him to know that there's cling wrap and then thaw it in the fridge the night before and there we go, we have like two dinners that now I'll keep in our freezer and that makes me really happy. All right, it is a little later, the kids have been playing. I've been working a little bit, getting a little bit of computer work done. This is the state of the house right now. In case you're wondering, Jackson was playing with his tracks. Why is there a cushion off of the couch, my friends? Yeah, look at this, pizza, money. It's like I have zero control today. You're having a popsicle, <laughs> like what is going on? A popsicle, Cheetos. So yeah, we've got some cleaning up to do before Joe gets home. What? It smells good. What is that called? Banana bread smells good. Can I smell it? Okay, you want a piece? Yeah, because I love it. Oh, okay. No. No. What do you mean? You don't like that? Jackson, I bet it's delicious. Yeah, I love it. You want to try it? Yeah. Hello. 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 Hello.
All right, I'll cut you a little piece and see what you think, okay? You want the end or you want a middle piece? A middle piece. Like, is that good or you want another, like from over here? I want two of them. No. <laughs> here, I want you to try it. All right, tell me what you think. Mmm. Oh. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had every intention, honestly, of saving this and freezing it. But whatever. The kids are going to eat it. I don't know if it's like the best consistency. You had to keep baking it because it wasn't done. But if he likes it, that means that it's a success. It's a good treat? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I'm pretty tasty. And at least those rotting bananas got eaten. So we did not waste those today. What is happening over here, you guys? <laughs> Who is sleeping? It's Zuma. Zuma? It is after dinner and the kids are playing really nicely. But yeah, ever since we put the pack and play together, they put their stuffed animals in there. Is, is that Zuma? Yeah. Zuma was tired? Yeah, he was like in all the days. Yeah, so it's just so funny. Like they're trying to take care of all their stuffed animals. What's going on with her, do you know? I don't know. You're just trying to find out? Yeah, let's see if she used any blood from the last time she came. So you're taking her blood pressure in her leg. I don't think she's doing too good. <laughs> she doesn't look too hot right now. She's lost 1% of blood. Actually, what she Oh, that's not good <laughs> at all. Okay. okay, please fix her up right away. So the kids are in bed um like you guys saw the kids have lately been falling asleep like in our bed um doing like cuddles with me like after prayers because we finally got to the point in pregnancy where i just i could not get like laying down on the bottom bug sorry joe just turned on the tv down in the kids room so like they've been doing cuddles with us in bed and then joe transfers them so they are in bed and now i think we're gonna watch we're gonna watch what food stars Gordon Ramsay. So we're gonna watch some of that. But um yeah, that's it for today's vlog. Like I said, this will be the last time I pick up the camera to vlog here in the house before the baby comes. So next vlog will very likely be like the birth vlog and it's just crazy to think that that is coming very very soon so thank you again to native for sponsoring today's video um remember to use my code if you guys want to save 33 percent um and get the three deodorants for was it 27 dollars but um yes thank you to them for sponsoring and thank you guys for watching and just for all of the support like always and that is it. So I love your faces. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye, guys.